Mr. Vice President, we thank the High Commissioner and echo his emphasis on the need for transformational change in Sri Lanka. Such transformational change requires a clear commitment and genuine political will to finally ensure justice for crimes committed during the internal, internal armed conflict and to prosecute individuals suspected of criminal, criminal responsibility. It also requires allowing for the memorialization of victims in the North and the East and releasing without delay of military-held land. The 2022 economic crisis further underlines the need to meaningfully address the crisis of impunity and the rule of law in order to ensure political and economic stability. However, with no real willingness from any of, any, any of the governments in the past 15 years to ensure justice and accountability to protect the rights of the victims, break from a culture of persecution of advocates for justice and human rights, and with no clear commitment from any of the leading presidential candidates on accountability and human rights, the stage appears to be set for the continuation of the cycles of violations and impunity. In this context, it's imperative that the Council takes action based on principles, principled position on human rights rather than political considerations to renew the mandates of the OHCHR Sri Lanka Accountability Project and that of OHCHR to monitor and report on the situation for a minimum of two years. Failure to do so would amount to betrayal of the thousands of victims and their families who, in the absence of any possibility for domestic accountability, depend on the Council's efforts towards justice, truth and reparations. Thank you.